Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another replay cast uh, and today I'm driving my VK4502P out of A, the German Tier 8 heavy tank. This is a replay from 8.6, I thought I might do it now since uh, the next patch is coming and who knows what they might change since I don't have the old versions anyways I might just do might as well do it now since nothing has changed from 8.6 to 8.7 so the replays are perfectly compatible and everything is working just fine. So, El Aloof, tier 9 game, not a lot, only one tier 9 per side and one tier 9 already per side, so it's not that bad matchmaking. And here is what I do with my VK on this map go across and then see what happens. It's high risk, high reward strategy, and this time I didn't get caught out, and this will be a good game. So, the VK, some people call it the worst. Tier 8 heavy tank. I call it the best tier 8 heavy tank. This tank is such a beast. In right hands, it can do monstrous things. This is one of my highest XP's ever per game in this game. So, yeah, this tank is such a beast. You have to play it right though. The gun has two only 200 penetrations, so that's not the strongest point. It has pretty nice alpha and really, really good DPM, so you have to use that. And look at this, ass shots on the T-54, he doesn't see where where it's coming from because I have optics on this thing so I can spot further. And here I just will take a blind shot, I don't, I'm actually not sure if that hit or not. But oh well, D-69 is the next client, I can't see him anymore as well, but I'm just taking a random shot. That probably didn't hit because I saw a tree falling on the other side. And as you can see, this is a really nice sp spot to to shoot them advancing there. The only issue is when some when people go on the south hill from their spawn, that's quite nasty for you to deal with. But look at that IS3. Burn, motherfucker. That probably didn't hit, but oh well. As you can see, I've done over 1000 damage for sure now. Probably one of those lines just definitely hit. And I've been. Sp I have been spotted once, but these guys have no clue where I'm shooting them from. So, this is really nice spot when it works out like this. And IS-3 is finished. Yeah, the T-54 and the T-69 are advancing. I know this is not a proper shot. Side with the T-54, you're never gonna pan from this range, and not that I can actually hit it. So I'm just gonna wait a bit to get a proper shot. Try to, in the end, I tried to get the risky shot and didn't of course happen. So my next shot I'm gonna try to to get a better shot before I take it because that's just a waste of ammo at this point. And here he exposes his uh, hull a bit so I, I hit exactly that and he's not that healthy anymore. This was a no this T69 unlucky shot bounced off right off the side of his uh, turret hit to the shot went too high so couldn't really do much there. And yeah, 1.7k damage so far, haven't been spotted, just shooting range for me at the moment. And it's really nice because my team doesn't really have shots on those guys, so I can really help them out. And here, here I noticed the BK, <laughs> He's, uh, he fucks up his first shot, then he gets spotted, decides that he will rush, rush for me, but no way man, not gonna happen. I saw that shot, so I know the T69 is firing at me, so I retreat a bit. And the VK is trying to jump on me, he gets tracked and I put one into the side and he is out. Don't ever, never ever do this, never ever rush people who are sitting here, there's nothing you can do about it. This was a this was a really lucky shot but really low roll so I guess it's all fair and square. But yeah, when you, your enemies get this position, don't rush, your best bet is to go south on the hill and, uh, and get me out that way. Don't rush down to kill me because I have a lot of support behind me so yeah pro tip don't rush people who sit here because this is quite a common spot for medium tanks to go in but since this tank is speedy enough I can I could have I was able to get up here with the with this thing as well without getting shot so yeah there's another VK up there now and I track him, waiting for my team to support me, but I know the, uh, the Lova shoots me, so I have to retreat. I can't keep him tracked all the time, or can I? No, I, I can. He doesn't have a good enough repair skill. So, the, trading shots like this is not my favorite thing to do, especially when you're driving two 
completely similar tanks. Like there's no, no nothing include, nothing special in it. And I know that I can pen that guy. I should be able to pen his turret. I aimed for well, I should have aimed just for the turret, but he dies anyway. So now for the lobby, he was trying to shoot me earlier, and he is so out of position. I saw he was just in the middle of the open there, and this view range helps me spot him right away. And I'm gonna put shot after shot into him. He misses, I miss, but I reload way faster. So wait for wait for the reload. Aim for the hull. It doesn't matter. 200 penetration is enough for a lover. And just keep on doing it. He's retreating. He knows that he's out of position. Put another other solid 300 in him. And he, now I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm gonna take this last shot, but this is it. There's no way I'm gonna pen that lobby now. So th I, there's nothing me forcing to do it. So I'm just gonna go play somewhere else, which is completely fine as well, since there's nothing holding my hand and telling me to kill that lobby. So this flank now, this trying to get the lobby. This was a sh silly shot. I think I played this game after one of the Circon's live streams, while I was playing like for 20, 12 hours straight. And this game, I, I felt like I hadn't played enough, so I played this one, and yeah, it was totally worth it. But yeah, so I made some dodgy shots there and here and there, but still pretty good game. So, trying to defense this flank to spot what I, what they have here is a KV-4. And KV-4s with a stock to it has one really big issue. That cupola is really easy to hit, and it's huge. Look at the size of that cupola. There's no way he's gonna bounce that, and I can put shot after shot after shot into him, and there's nothing he can do about it. Next one, and he doesn't have any health left. Here comes the T-34. He, he is still full health as well, he was camping so hard that he hasn't received any shots yet. He was trying to support his team, but it didn't work out, obviously. And now he's gonna try to put pressure up me. Which is exactly the right thing to do, because I'm kind of annoying here, and he ammo marks me and tracks me at the same time. I decide to prepare the ammo marks since I still want to do damage, instead of just uh, just getting away alive. And I decide to fuck off from here as well, there's nothing for me anymore here. Either the T-34 is guarding that uh, that pass, so I, w I will just go and do something else now. And it's really easy with this tank, you can relocate like this really easily. And that is why I love this tank so much. The speed plus armor plus gun is the perfect perfect combina combination for me at least. Maybe some people dislike it, some people think it's shit, but those people don't know how to play this thing right. Because I have a couple of these 5k damage games, I craps today 3 replays, so I'm gonna be uploading you two more of the, these types of games uh, to YouTube pretty soon as well just have to finish some editing and it should be ready to, for YouTubes and here I spot the Arty, I spot the Lover but I, here I kinda fucked up, I should have uh, uh, should have finished off the KV4 that will appear here, right here below me, I tried to get the Arty since I think it's the most valuable target but if I think about it now, I should have killed the KV4 then I had my hands free, now the KV4 is just guarding so I can flank his team and there's nothing I can do really in this game anymore. This KV4 can one shot me, I can one shot him, but I, he's the one aiming, I'm, not, I'm the one who has to attack. So I'm just gonna chill here for a while. I don't wanna die, this game was too good for me to just go ahead and die to some monkey KV4 who was camping base. And as well, the, uh, I think one, two or one at least from my blind shots I took at the start of the game hit the, hit the target so it was around 6k damage and this T-34 didn't like, see me coming here and I finished him off. Now it's only the KV-4 and the RD. I still don't want to get killed and the KV-4 is aiming at me. Now he's retreating but now I can't do anything about it anymore and my team will finish him. So 3k damage, two, wait 6k damage, 3k spotting. So quite an alright game, one of my highest experience games ever, VK4502P, that was a, the German Terry Navy, I love this machine. I'm going to put the link to my replay uh, website for this replay in the description so you can check out the, all the other stats and I will see you in the next one.